hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to share our school morning routine so usually my alarm goes off at about 6 30 a.m so the first thing i love to do is just to go through my phone i love to go through my calendar where i write down all the things that i need to do today so i don't forget things like appointments um you know just to stay on track for the day and then i usually i stay on bed for a couple minutes maybe 10 minutes you know just to get some strength before i get off the bed so when i'm finally up the first thing i do is to wake up the three kids usually a night before i love to set out the kids uniform and just place them on this banister usually how good or how well my morning routine depends on my night routine so the first thing i'm going to do is to wake up zuri zuri usually used to be my child that just wakes up um i think when i filmed this video she actually wasn't feeling so well look at her bonnet it just keeps falling off every night so he, she actually wasn't feeling so well because it was really difficult getting her up <laughs> <laughs> So we need to go to school, okay? I don't. Oh. So now I'm going over to Zimmy's room to wake him up. Zimmy is also one difficult person. In fact, he's my child that loves sleep the most. Like getting him out of the bed every morning is usually a hassle. So my previous video that I posted, some people made a comment on how they don't even wake their kids. That usually their kids are the ones that wake them up. Guys, it is the opposite for me. Most of the time, I'm the one that wake the kids. They never wake up. Even weekends, like my kids take their time. I think they are not just morning people. They just love to sleep in. So now I'm going to wake um, Lota. I don't know what is going on with this girl, but every night she leaves her bed to sleep on the floor. I don't know why she enjoys it, but she said it makes her more comfortable. She makes something um, like a tent around her bed, and this is where she sleeps all through the night. <laughs> Lota! Oh, yeah, let's go, let's go. Mm. Let's go, okay? Let's go. <laughs> So I'm still struggling to get Zuri up. Um, like I said, she's actually not feeling so well. I think she has um cold, so it was a bit difficult to get her up today. So once they are up now, um, they are trying to brush their teeth. <music> Then the next thing I do is to place all their uniforms on their beds. Usually in the night when I sort them through, they're already sleeping and I don't like to go into their room. So I just place them on that banister. So once I'm done now, I'm going to wipe down their faces. Usually the kids have a bath lasting in the night before they go to bed. So in the mornings, all we do is to brush and wash our face. So we are finally down here. These are all the dishes that I did the previous night. So now I'm going to ask the kids what they will have for breakfast. My kids, they all eat different things. So this morning, Zimmy wanted a grab. I think he's the only one that is really consistent about his breakfast. He loves eggs. Uh, he loves eggs egg wrap so he mentioned that he's having egg wrap today then lota wanted something different zuri wanted something different
this one is a gummy it is from halipo orange my kids love it so much they actually think that they are having treats when they have this but i'm happy that it is filled with so many vitamins <music> So now I'm just going to go ahead and fix the Kate's hair. I know this is not the best time to fix their hair because they are having breakfast, but this is the only time that I get to do this. So I'm going to just quickly go ahead. My two kids are on um, braids. So usually I moisturize it every morning. I love this pure almond oil. I used to use the coconut oil, but I realized that it was too thin for their hair. It wasn't holding up their the moisture in their hair so well so i switched to the almond oil and it's so good i buy this from asda so i'm starting with zuri's hair i spray it first with some rose water and then sealing that moisture with some oil i'm gonna do the same thing for lota and also do the same thing for zinifi <music> freshen up so usually in the morning what i do is just to brush my teeth and also do my morning skincare routine but today i have a dentist appointment right after i drop the kids off so i wanted to put in more effort to look good so i'm going to apply a little makeup not really makeup just brow pencil and then some lipstick you know just to look good So now I'm trying to fill up the Kate daily reading book. I'm usually supposed to do this a night before, but I think I missed it. So I'm just doing it right now. So it's just filling up their reading book, pulling all the books that they read the previous day. So they give them scores and marks for it. So I just don't want them to miss their points because they actually read 
last night so i'm just going to go ahead and fill it up for them before we start getting ready to leave Here is the final stage of our morning routine before we make it out of the door. I don't know what is wrong with this light. The light has just been like annoying me. It just keeps coming off and going on. Anyway, this is the point where we get our shoes on. We get our jackets depending on the weather. Today I checked the weather. like myself and the kids alone when their dad is not around he's been out of town for two days now so it's just me juggling with the kids and as the kids are growing up things are getting a lot easier now it wasn't this it hasn't always been this easy breezy like these days the kids can do a lot of things on their own now so it's not so stressful anymore um so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video okay